Have your packet to draft a code 9 2018 plan board minutes. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. A second? Second. Any corrections, deletions, additions? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Thank you. First item on our agenda, Benderson Development, Consumer Square, Commercial Drive, New Hartford. Amendment to final. This is in for a preliminary review. Matthew Oaks with Benderson Development. Um, we are proposing a 12,278 square foot retail restaurant building for the area of New Hartford Consumer Square where the Walmart gas station used to be located. It is adjacent to the Applebee's right at the main signalized entrance to the plaza. We are proposing the building with an end cap coffee shop space with a drive through the drive through wraps fully around the building with the entrance. In this location here, the amount of stack we provide exceeds the amount of stacking that the town code requires. Um, in addition, we received a few comments on the plans from Joe, a couple items on our initial submittal that did not meet code that we have addressed. We meet the front parking setback now of 15 feet. We have added the required landscape area <coughs> to break up this parking field. And also we have provided a designated turnaround area for vehicles if they come down this drive lane and there's no parking in this area. And we are also providing a sign for that as well, actually stating no parking, designated turnaround area so someone just doesn't park there and then make it not work. We are also expecting a second restaurant and cap tenant on this location. So we are proposing a patio in this area and also a patio in this area. All the proposed utilities are connecting to existing on-site utilities. We're extending the water line that services Applebee's and comes from the hot box down by Best Buy. In this area, up to the building, we are tying into the sanitary sewer in that same location, and then we are tying into the existing on-site storm sewer. Overall, um, the property is less than an acre of disturbance, so we are under the DEC regulations as well for a permit. In regards to the architectural look of the building, we do believe what we have proposed is an attractive building and also takes into account that the fact that the building doesn't really back up to anything and it is actually really a four-sided building. So even though we have the drive through wrapping around the building, we are proposing all four sides to be attractive. As what we're doing. <coughs> so this would be the front face of the building. For the coffee shop, NCAP, we are kind of proposing a distinctive end cap space for that using some ePay wood rain screen in this area. Then we are transitioning to more EFIS with a cornice cap with fabric awnings, transferring then into a main bump for the middle of the building with a brick veneer, and then transitioning back to the EFIS sign band and the EFIS cornice at the end. We are proposing to take the look on the front, wrap it around the side of the building as well with storefront glass. And then we'll also be bringing in some cultured stone on this side that we will also be incorporating into the other side of the building on the drive through side. And then for the back of the building, we are mirroring the bump on the front in the back, bringing that up. We are doing some decorative fabric awnings to kind of break up the back, kind of give it a feel of the front of the building. We're bringing in the brick look as well across the back using some vertical piers to break it up as well. Overall, we are excited for the project. We think it's a good project. We would, if we received the board's approval, look to start construction fairly soon after that. And we do think it is an attractive building that kind of ties in to the overall look of the plaza that we've been doing. Happy to answer any questions that the board has. Joe, do you uh, have any comments before we get to that part? No, he's addressed all concerns prior. Her? Not. Board members, any questions? I just have a question, Joe, as it relates to parking spaces in that area, not crossing over, but in that area, how many, how many, how many more than, how do I say this, how many more than 
are the minimum is there? Well, because it is a shopping center, they go off a different standard, and that is one uh, one space for 250 square feet of building area, and they exceed the requirement. I'm just looking for the parking plan, but they do exceed the requirement. Should be the first one, I think, 4.0. 4.0. For, no, for that, that area. I so don't have to cross cross the boulevard. On that space. He's showing 49 spaces. Uh, and 48 is required. Right. For him uh, himself. Right. And then Apple has all of this to use as well. And then we are also providing additional sidewalk and crosswalk connections in there to also tie in the other parking. Because I understand what you're saying, not having someone park over in this area right. to cross. Yes, so we are providing pedestrian connections. So if someone does park outside of this area, if they choose to, that they do have a nice pathway to cross over there as well. Can you explain the, um, the pricing of this one? Yeah, that's, that's probably right. The, the yeah. traffic flow and generation, and if anything's going to be done with the light timing to, you know, for the increased traffic that's going to be generated at that site? <coughs> uh, we're not looking to do anything with the changing the light timing for this. We wouldn't necessarily want to give any of the side, side road any more additional timing. Generally, you want to provide the main access yeah. through the same. We wouldn't want to take anything out of that. Um, this still will be stop control intersection at this point with two coming in, and then it will be a free flow coming in from the other main signalized intersection, and then we still have the main stacking. We're not so we're not affecting the overall stacking amount. And just for the record, that way is controlled by DOT. Okay. Yes, it's all and then co yeah, and then coordinated with the main yeah, main signal as well. Yeah, that got all redone. Four years ago, about three years ago, maybe something like that. Anything else, Liz? Um, no, will, will a retaining wall be needed here? I couldn't see the elevations. No, there, there won't be a retaining wall. And what's the slope just had? Uh, the slope would be one on three. Anything else? Anybody? What, what's the total area of disturbance? Uh, the total area of disturbance is 0.95 acres. I know it's already impervious surface. Correct, yes. And I'd remind everybody off-site, CEPRA is dealt with by the GIS. Yep. But we do have to deal with on-site. Anything else? Anybody? A motion to grant a preliminary approval? So moved. A second? A second. Any further questions, comments, concerns? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Thank you. We also need a motion to declare the planning board lead agency for a coordinated review and receiver. <coughs> Second. Thank you. Second. Uh, Thank you. Any comments or concerns regarding that motion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. We will be in touch tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Figure out I how think many we already talked about yes. this. Okay, Absolutely. <laughs> Appreciate that. Man. No problem at all. Have a good Memorial Day, everyone. Enjoy the wonderful weather. Thank you. Thanks. Next on our agenda is the two lot subdivision Woods Hill Homestead LLC. Ninety-seven fifty-five. Is that right? That's right. Sessions Road, Sequoia. Oh, no, I got it. Thanks. Um, Kirk? It's a one to two uh, subdivision. They're cutting out a six acre parcel out of a parent parcel that's 85.9 uh, acres. Um, I've reviewed it with Joe. It appears to meet all of our requirements. I've reviewed the descriptions, uh, which appear accurate pursuant to the survey. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just waiting for, <laughs> waiting for my turn. I didn't realize anybody was here. But, no. 
Uh, my name is Andy Bailey. I'm a land surveyor with Lafave White and McGivern. Is that right? What's your name, sir? Andy Bailey. Bailey. I have the completed surveys. If you care to look, you want me to distribute them, or I'll, I'll look at them. I have a copy in there. Um, yep, yeah, it's the same one. Does anybody want to see the map? Mm -hmm. I think they're all still yeah. yeah, you gave everybody a copy. Mm -hmm. There's Yep. Yeah. Joe, did you have any other comments? <coughs> no, just simple. It's a six lot out of 87, I think the number is. 85 point and it's, six acres out of 85 point and it's, I believe the plan is to convey the property to the neighbor, the Brown family, who lives adjacent to it. <coughs> any questions for anybody, board members? So I want to claim for a motion to leave the preliminary. It's just a final approval on this, or final preliminary and final. Really, it's just final. Which? It's final. Just final. <laughs> a motion for a final approval on the minor subdivision. Yep. Thank you, Premier. A second. Okay. Any further comments or concerns? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Thank you. Do you have the mylar on this too? It is, right? Is it is. in here? Yes. Yeah. Um, I just want to know, do you guys file it? Will you file it, or do I come back and retrieve it? And file it? You file Every planning board I go to is a little different. Yeah, you file it. 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 And then we file it within 30 days and bring back the receipt. Okay. Why don't you give me your phone number? Give me your card. Good. Thank you. And I'll call you tomorrow morning with it. Okay? Good. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. The next item on our agenda is a referral from the town board to us regarding the interior rebuild of the former Gander Mountain Building, 8635 Clinton Street, New Hartford. Um, in this particular matter, the town board is lead agency for the coordinated review under SECRA, and we are being referred. Uh, this as an interested agency. You could object to them acting as a uh, lead agency. Uh, technically, I spoke to counsel uh, with the state, and uh, I don't believe it comes under secret because it's a complete interior renovation. However, our bond counsel, when they do the bonding, is probably going to want to know if there was some compliance with seeker. So we, we sent the letter out to the interested agencies. In fact, several have called and said, why you're sending it, we're not involved. But we just wanted to dot every I and cross every possible T. And the offsite secret is under the GIS. Well, it's an interior renovation. Oh, yeah, right. no exterior. So, no. so uh, after that, any I concerns? Or? One, one quick question. Yeah, sure. Was self police and file codes and everything like that internal review? Mm -hmm. We we're self policing, we issue our own permits and we have to vote and everything for inspections. Okay. Right. so what is it we're doing exactly? We're just sending a, a motion to pass the resolution. You're not objecting to the town acting as a lead agency, and the planning board has no concerns. Someone you want to make yeah. that motion? Sure. Second? Yeah. Any further discussion regarding that? No, that's one thing. I don't think it requires secret. It doesn't. Yeah. So. <laughs> Thank you. I agree with you, Liz. Yeah, so does the yeah. state. Okay. We're doing it anyway. All right. Because when you float these bonds, okay. some that's right. that's lender right. is going to say, well, did you comply with secret? Well, well, we did. What thing? I said as long as we're covered for every contingency, that's important. It's yeah. internal, so I, I don't oh, see it having any issues. You never know where the bond is. Oh, yeah, no, that's Rob's problem. No. <laughs> um, so do we have a motion on this? Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Thank you. And the next item on this agenda will be handled by Julius, as I'm abstaining. That's I have accused myself. Okay, you're abstaining too. In spite of the fact. Yeah. 
Okay, but before we get going, it, it, it change, uh, we change seats a little bit. I want to remind everybody this is a public meeting, not a public hearing. Um, I'd like to have uh, the applicant speak. Um, we are going to have a forum because we are present um, with, um, with uh, two abstentions coming and uh, her stepping back. So um, we'll look to the applicant to present this uh, and we'll have discussion and then we'll have a Okay. You don't mind introducing yourself? Sure. Uh, members of the planning board, my name is Daniel Manning. I'm an architect in my office is in Syracuse, New York. And I've been retained by Coughlin and Gia Brown, who, are, who have one half of Jordan Road currently under a purchase offer contract. Uh, the, the, the submission is to uh, convert and rehab these the currently single family residents into uh, an office for their wealth management company is currently zone C3. Uh, the last time we presented this project was in March, uh, where the board recommended that uh, although the architectural portion of the submission was complete, they recommended a further, uh, a, a further uh, en enlargement and enhancement of the site civil drawings, which we didn't have submitted. Uh, these are sheets L1 through L0, or L0 through L4. And uh, we have subsequently met with uh, uh, met with New York State DOT, Bob Rice. Bob Rice uh, had no detrimental comments regarding the, the site development drawings and proposed great grading plan, and said that they would be able to grant approval once a contractor actually files for a permit. In addition to the development, the further development of the site civil drawings. We also hired the firm uh, GZA, uh, civil engineers, to compile a complete drainage report. In that drainage report, calculations were made to uh, calculate pre-development runoff and then post-development runoff. The pre-development runoff, as is, was approximately just over four cubic feet per second. The post-development runoff would be under a, a half a cubic foot per second. So there was a substantial increase in the storm water <coughs> retention and development of the, of the site, which was uh, preferred by New York State DOT. Uh, we have submitted full grading plans. As I stated, the architectural submission was, was previously completed, and we, are, uh, we have received responses from all the, you know, the requisite agencies under the secret request. So we are requesting uh, final approval for the submission. Joe, um, no. um, Did we get this? Uh, Rick's not here. Is he? Rick had not concerned with this previous development. Mm -hmm. um, and DOT had no uh, issues? We had no comments. Okay. Um, discussion? Uh, yes. Um, in my packet, I did not receive two things that I was looking for. One is the, the, the final drawings, the updated drawings. Did you receive the final drawings? I did not. Um, I don't know if they're missing. If you have a copy here, I just would like to... One of the concerns that Please we mentioned... Thank you. <laughs> yes, I have not. Yeah. Um, one of the questions that came up two months ago when you initially presented, one of the concerns that I had two concerns, the stormwater and also where the um, right-of-way property line was in regards to the trees that were planted by the town. So with this clearly stated, can you, are they, are the trees mapped, I guess is what I'm asking on this, the new plan. Okay, the, I see the, the new property line, I see mapped. the, okay, but the existing trees are not? The existing trees were not mapped by the surveyor, but they would be unaffected. Okay, because we're so not going to remove, we're so not going to modify any of the monument areas okay. that are on the So they, they, they the would corner. remain, those, the, yes. the large conifers will remain. Okay, because I know that the owners will want it more visual access. I think the visual access is more where all the deciduous trees are. 
Okay. Than, All right. You know where those conifers were. Well, I just remember you know being part of the stormwater committee and planning that the town purchased that to appease the homeowner. Right. And I was uncertain if they were town assets in the in the right of way or if they were property assets. Right. So if they're town assets, I want just that Rick Sherman be you know aware of what clearing is done. Just and, and is if you're saying that they're not going to be taken down, then I have no concern with that. The the other comment that. I had, um, and did anyone get this or no. just my packet? No, I had it. Okay. Um, the other, and I did read through the stormwater, the drainage report, and was there a corresponding document or dra drawing diagram to go with that? That's L L zero to L one. It talks about the areas. It has the areas defined because defined, that was the other thing that I was looking when I was doing defined. my my review. Um, is, Yes. The, the, can you sh which which sheet are they defined? Yeah, I don't think any of us got that. No, we didn't. I went up to see Liz this morning because I was concerned about this, this one, the drainage report, for a different reason. Oh, one. Attention. Yeah, there's a fair amount of ones off there. Yes, but I, I well, reading through the report, they're they're going to to handle it and attenuate it more on site, so it should right. improve the condition. And it, it improved it yes, vastly. Yes, yeah, it right. And I read through it, but what I was missing, I had the verbal description of the areas, the catchment areas on site. But does this also show the catch basins on the road? Oh, see, very good. Yeah. And that, and that's what I was looking for. I was looking for a drawing. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, be, right, be, because just of the time concentration, the flow, and I didn't have that piece to, um, to see. But I mean, the numbers obviously add up. Um, and and my landscaping plan, lighting plan. Yeah. All that was it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Would um, you like to keep that? I would not mind keeping it. Would you like to see another? Well, yeah, because I wanted to see where the lights were. Yeah. Because I know you were in here before you had some things, but yeah. where the lights are. The lights are all low level lighting. Uh, that something to make there's room? bollards mm -hmm. uh, that just create some safety lighting and some directional lighting. The lights on the building are very residential in scale. Mm -hmm. uh, so there is, no, uh, there is no light pollution beyond the actual property line. Joyce, I don't know if you can answer this question or Dory. When I was looking through the seeker actions, I was wondering, I, it seems as though this is a type two action which doesn't require <coughs> coordinated review. It doesn't, but the last time we went in March, mm -hmm. because the proximity and the, and the name, and I, and I always go back to that, that presumption of seeker, what does seeker always look for? Is does it fit into the nature and character of the neighborhood? Mm -hmm. Um, and that's always first and foremost from that secret uh, right. further. So since, since it's, I consider it on the edge or a mixed type use because you have um, you have a tremendous number of light type businesses going in and then transitioning into the residential neighborhood. Mm -hmm. At that point, that's when we asked to have a coordinated review and actually send it out to DOT for everybody to look at because we could have approved um, okay. This back in March, but we wanted to make sure that all of the agencies were addressed and everything because we were interested in that mixed, yep. that mixed use. What other mixed use has gone on over there that I, I when, I, when, I say, that when I say years. when I say mixed use, you look at the real estate businesses. It's mm -hmm. the first thing when we're checking our boxes when we look at, at what our but jurisdiction is. I haven't seen it the past couple of years that came before us. So no, but you yeah. see the real estate businesses couple, and you see. Yeah. Yeah, well, they're looking back in March. Insurance, business. yeah. insurance businesses. Taylor, Sean. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, right. I remember right. that. Right. So, yeah. The real estate, yeah. And I, I drive by that area every day or two or three times per day. Um, and at that time, that's why we said let's send okay. it out for a review. But it was not required by the town's requirements. Okay. Great. And the drainage report was required. This is well under an anchor. Yeah. Right. But knowing that the town had problems, in your state, we wanted to show yeah, your yeah. state DOT yeah, yeah. that the site would the flooding was yeah. be greatly improved, and we didn't want these guys to experience it either. Well, I have a comment that's 
not directed at you, okay? Because I think last time you were here, I did direct comment at you, and you came to the table and you did what we asked you to do. Okay. It's just that we're not getting the stuff. Now, I know you're not part of that the administration that makes that happen, but how, at the past couple of meetings, I've sort of had the same types of questions. It has nothing to do with you, right? And so I guess I'm trying to understand how we can make this work better. I know that, I mean, City of Utica is having the same problem because guess what? Good things are happening everywhere. <laughs> And so, I mean, the staffs have been reduced. We, you know, we lost a planner. We lose staff all the time. But, you know, as it relates to, to future endeavors, I mean, you've got to make sure there's some kind of check it box before things before things come out. I, I did go up and see Liz this morning because I did look at the drainage report and I couldn't get my arms around the schematics of it all. And I went up and, am I missing something here? You know, and that's mm -hmm. when she took a look and said, well, we're missing the final I'll, I'll offer it this way, because I, I take, I look at reviews, I go through the packets, and mm -hmm. go through everything, and I took a hard look at the numbers. Mm -hmm. And when I looked and saw the reductions in the overall mm -hmm. effort that was put forth associated with those numbers and the documents mm -hmm. provided, mm -hmm. this time, in addition to what we requested the last time, mm -hmm. the applicant's coming in and they're trying to do what they can do to make things work. I agree. I, mean, worry about no, my point yeah. I don't disagree. But, but I my agree. Point is, my yeah. point is when we get to this point and we're, we're truly a planning board at that mm -hmm. level, mm -hmm. yes, we do need to have the documentation and, and it is critical, but I don't also don't think we should stifle development. I don't either, but I guess at areas. what point do you, 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 you make a stand and say, we're, I mean, we're, we're, not, we're not being excellent here and we're not, we're not doing all the things that, you know, Somehow we're not, and, and what can we do to help? What can we, I, I'm not stifling this project, so I, I don't want you to suggest that, because I'm not, because they did exactly what we asked them to do. They've gone above and beyond. They have. I'm yeah. not suggesting that, like I said, it's not issue. about them. It's about meeting after meeting, something's missing, and, and I know what else you could add. Well, at any point you could call Joe, and I did call Joe today, um, because I made the assumption, incorrectly so, that, you know, the Barton and Juice would be here. The development agreement had been signed, so we actually had an engineering firm that was reviewing on our behalf, on behalf of the town. Um, and I, I know that that was not requested for this project. And I talked to the town supervisor about my concerns about that, and I think he agreed with me. But I'm not voting against this project. All I'm saying is, is that when materials go out, if you have to hold it up, if we have to call a special meeting, I'm asking that to be considered so that Three years from now, if there's a lawsuit for any purpose, the record shows all the materials were provided and there were no questions. And we can't say that for this one. Again, just like last one, we couldn't say it. So that's I'm just making my, my point, which has nothing to do with you. You guys, you came to the table. We asked you to, to, to provide some additional materials. Let's, let's, uh, let's, 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 let's close the secret. Let's close the secret. You make a motion to close the secret. And accept it. And accept it. Uh, I'm sorry, it's, can somebody make a motion to close secret? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Second. 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 Motion to close secret. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, right. All those opposed? Okay. Can we make a motion to accept the advance of the project or something? We have to I don't make the motion. Yeah. Great, great. Yeah, great. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. Yeah, I'm just, I'll keep it. Yes, thanks. Thank you. Thanks for saving the trees. <laughs> yeah, I hope you like trees. Did you get these, Bill? I sent out what I was thinking. I know, but do we have these? Did something come out in March that was like that? Because I don't remember. Really there was because we saw it. We saw this. We saw it. We saw the signing. One of the pink and we saw the signing. We saw some of the lighting. Yeah, the signing yeah. was the same. Okay, is that all? Okay. Are we stopping? Let's get them. Can I have a motion to adjourn? No, I'm just. We're just. We're just asking. No, I know. Why we need a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Yep. 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 Second. Y